Ooh, good Saturday morning, y'all. I already put up another video with my Bible study. Oh, Lord. And now I am... I got me some food in the microwave for me personally. Not for nobody else. Just for me personally. <laughs> me, did nobody else touch my food? I'm going to show you what I got for my breakfast. Y'all, God is so good. I don't even know what to say. God is so good. But I do mean that. Now, like I said before, you know I don't waste no food. Let me show y'all something. This is going to be my Saturday morning breakfast. We got uh, biscuits in here. We got pancakes, eggs, you name it. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to have personally. Just like I said, I don't waste nothing. And I'm going to show you something that's really good too. Give me just a second here. Thank y'all for coming in this morning. I have been enjoying y'all so much that I've been coming in and watching and leaving comments. I appreciate you so much. I really do. Y'all, God is so good. You just do not know. One day I'm going to write a book. And sing some songs. And I do mean that. Remember this video. This documentation. Of how good God is. Put in and brought you a mighty long way. It may seem redundant. But for me it's important. Because. God is just good like that. God is just good. If you're new to this channel. Uh, I invite you to go in there. And look at my channel. Starting from years ago and you'll see me my family my daughter when she was alive you'll see a lot of stuff and that means so much to me because at a time that i thought i wouldn't even be here anymore god is so good and here i am three years later since my beautiful daughter passed away and i'm thankful and grateful and, and god is showing me new things and and i want to tell you this and this may seem crazy but it's not and then I'm going to dip up my breakfast. As soon as I had real good peace, you know, with my daughter passing and went through my, you know, grief. And just all of a sudden God lifted me out over it. Then suddenly I get sick. I'm never sick, y'all. I'm never sick. And it wasn't no coincidence. As soon as the enemy saw the Lord lift me out of my grief. And put me on a track to go forward. And actually start having laughter, peace, and joy in my life. Then I come down with a sickness that's lingering. I've had six prescriptions so far. No, seven. Because I have to go pick up another one on Monday. Dealing with my eye. We know we need our eyes, y'all. Dealing with uh, my stomach. My stomach is so swollen, y'all. My stomach has always been kind of big. And I'm kind of short in stature. I'm only like 5'4". But just an ulcer. I don't even want to speak on it. But I'm going to speak on it now because it's gone. And then some other things that I was diagnosed too. But let me tell you how good God is though. God is so good. Let me start dipping this up. That no matter what you go through or how you go through it. God is always there. When I say always, when your strength is gone, which is actually like I tell some people, y'all, this is the soup I'm dipping up. When your strength is gone, that's a good thing. Because I've had people say, or even myself, I ain't got the strength to do it no more. That's perfect. Because when your strength is gone, that God's strength going to kick in for you. Just like that uh, picture that everybody got in their house. Those footsteps, it was then that get God uh, carried you. That's a true story. Because when I finally was just like, okay, God, I don't care. I'm tired. I'm trying to go on with everyday life. Y'all, the job I was working at, true story, I think I called in. And I'm, I'm going to talk about this because this is so important 
for people to know, especially if you've been through uh, losing a loved one, you know, husband, child, whatever, don't matter, someone very, very close to you. And let me tell you, y'all was trying to work because I have to work, okay? I don't have the option of not going to work. Let me tell you what happened. And I'm going to be very honest about this because at first I wasn't. I wasn't honest at first because to me, I've always been a strong person. I didn't know I was strong. And that's a good thing too because sometimes when the Lord don't let you know that you're strong. But let me show you all this soup real quick. This is just some... Um, Okay, you know how you uh, cook your vegetables and stuff and you have the broth left over? This is the broth. And I just add like a little green vegetable to it. And where's my spoon? And then what I did, I had tomatoes again because I buy tomatoes in a book. I tell you, I love tomatoes. So I had the uh, leftover like broth. Okay, and then I just put some little fine noodles in there. A little bit of seasoning, not too much, because you know that broth already had a little salt. And then them tomatoes I needed to use up. I had some of them yesterday with a tuna salad sandwich. And then look, here for breakfast. Just simple noodles, vegetable broth, no meat, don't even need it. Hold on, let me get you a bite. Let me get you a bite. I know you hungry. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, hold on. There we go. Ooh-wee. Y'all, look at that. That's why I be saying God be blessing some simple vegetable broth. Y'all lost my tomato. Come on, tomato. Some simple vegetable broth left over from another meal. That's why I say don't throw your stuff away. Some simple noodles, seasoning, tomatoes. Let's taste it real quick. Thank you, Lord, for this food. You are mighty God. You are loving God. I trust you. I thank you. And I love you. Please help all our elderly, our pregnant women, our sick, our disabled, our homeless, our babies, our children. And if anyone else I left out, God, please put food on the table for everyone. May we not waste any food, Lord. If we have extra food, Lord, or too much, then let us share with the next one so that no one go hungry. We thank you again, God. In Jesus' name. You are the source. Amen. All right, so here they go. Let me take you. know I'm finna slurp. You know what I'm finna do. Y'all know how I be eating like that, making them know it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh, my God. Amen. Ooh, I just got it on clothes. That's okay. Oh, my Lord. Wait a minute, and I want to get back to what I was talking about. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Y'all, I, I use the Roman tomatoes. They so fresh, and they hold up. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. It's going to make me want to go lay back down. It's so comforting. Like I said, ain't even no meat in it. But when I talk about flavor, I ain't gonna lie for real. I'm looking up here at this bowl. Got a little bit of seasoning left and a little bit of that um, green vegetable. I'm gonna cut up me some more tomatoes and make some more. I thought this one bowl was gonna do it, but I got just enough over here. Let me get another bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. This is what I'm talking about. See that juice and noodle there? But it cut up me about three more tomatoes, season, and make another one. I don't waste nothing. I don't waste nothing. My family, we're too thankful and grateful to have food here. One more bite, and I want to finish what I was talking about. Mmm. Wow. Hey, ooh, that's good, my God. <clears throat> wow. What I was saying, though, back to what 
I was focusing on. As soon as I came through, got better with the situation with my child passing away, and she was 33 years old. And this has been three years now. As soon as, as I'm telling you for real, instantly, like the first two years when my daughter passed away, I was sick for a whole month. Then I was sick for a whole week. And I mean literally sick. And this time I prayed to God. And my daughter actually came to me early. And she was like, Mama, I love you. Everything is okay. And I want you to be okay. And I was like, girl, you coming to me the second week in September? Because she died on my, my brother's birthday, which is at the end of September. And I was like, what is it? But she wanted to let me know she was visiting everyone and that, hey, be okay. And keep, you know, keep it moving. Now, I still had, you know, my, my breakdown, you know, because I miss my child. But next thing I know, I started experiencing, now this is supernatural. The next thing I know, I start experiencing like joy, euphoric joy. And I said, oh, Lord, have I gone crazy? But right after she visited me, it was like the Lord gave me euphoric joy where I was in laughter, joy, peace. Still am. But before that, uh, the enemy tried to strike me down. And give me three, four, five diagnoses and medications ain't working. And I think the enemy thought, well, I can't get her this time on the grief. Because when God gets you up, can't nobody bring you down. That's your word for today. And I think the enemy said, I can't get her no more on the grief. So what am I going to do? Strike her body down just like the book of Job. And guess what? That ain't bothering me. I've gone through that, but now I'm up. I'm thankful and grateful. Doing what I need to do, want to do with the Lord. I have to give this testimony. Because if I do not give this testimony, how can I ask anyone else out there to give a testimony? The power of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I have to give this testimony because even after I am gone off of this earth, there will be someone that will click on this video at their deepest, weakest hour, and they will see this testimony. You always sow a seed. You don't know at the time you're sowing a seed. Sow your seed. Tell your story. Tell your story of weakness. And like I just said yesterday, watching the war, and even in my own situation, I used to lay up here and watch the news, y'all, because I love watching news. And I would see people on the TV and parents and stuff and say, Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Ooh, that's so hard to go through. How they talking? And then I went through it myself. So suddenly, like I said, on my brother's birthday when my daughter passed. And just basically caught off guard. Death catch you off guard. But the way it happened with my daughter, 33 years old, on my brother's birthday. And how it happened so suddenly. And you don't even believe it. But then, like I said, life go full circle. But I have to give the testimony because there's someone that will see this and has already seen it. I've already had one lady reach out to me. I've already had one lady reach out to me with her testimony. Things you don't never expect to go through. And my daughter was my only living child. Okay? But God pulled me back now. I'm going to take another bite of this soup, y'all. It's really good. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Jesus, for the provision. Give y'all another bite. Mm -mm. But God is so good that He pulled me out of that, that grieving. I have my moments, but by the grace of God, I'm still here. I want to help anybody. And also to let you know that one day you can be down and feeling horrible, like you certainly can't go on. But the next thing you know, God pull you up out of it. And you be like, Lord, what's going on? You get up, you're refreshing. Like I said, even with the sickness that's going on with me now, that is most certainly gone. I've already rebuked that in the name of Jesus. But you get up and all of a sudden you're feeling good, looking good, feeling better. And that's what defeats the enemy. Because the enemy 
I want to keep you down. He want to keep you down to where whatever going on in your life, he want to just keep you to where you're depressed and in anxiety mode, grief mode, all that. But when you get up, by the grace of God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the enemy, you better watch out. It's just like this war that's going on right now. It's already been prophesied. There was a mom and daughter released last night on Friday night. You better watch out, enemy. God is warning you. Nothing can stop the will of God, and we got to know it, y'all. We can't walk around here every day like, um, yeah, mm-hmm. We got to know we're our source of our strength and our power and who is watching over us. It's not some invisible thing or whatever. Don't let nobody tell you different, even if you don't know who God is or Jesus is or the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you now. Tell him your deepest, darkest secrets, and you ain't telling nobody else. And watch and see what happens. That's your test. Anyone that does not believe in God, Jesus, or the Holy Spirit, I want you to tell them your deepest, darkest secrets and something going on with you. You ain't never told your friends, your mom and them, nobody. And see what happens. That's going to be your proof. I invite you to do that today. Because you're going to already know. I ain't never told nobody. This wasn't no fluke. Whatever. Oh my God. Once I accepted God, Jesus, Holy Spirit into my heart. And I told them some things. that <laughs> You're going to see. Your life's going to change. And I can tell you now. I'm up in peace and joy. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm up in peace and joy. Moving right along. God is so good. And I, I don't even know what to say. Like, it's just, he's so good that I really don't know what to say right now other than thank you, God. And I want to pass it on to others. That's why I will share my story continuously. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. God is a good God, y'all. I'm going to continue to say it every day. Mmm. Oh, that's so good, y'all. That's so comforting. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. God is good. I hope you join the family. We got a lot to talk about, y'all. I got to tell y'all some stories about my daughter. Well, let me tell y'all this one right now. Because I was supposed to tell it the other day, but I forgot. Because <laughs> my mind be switching up on me sometimes. Mmm. Y'all, this is good. Y'all, now I was telling you about gifts that the Lord gave you. Now, my mom could not braid hair. I used to have to play at my mom's hair. She would wash her hair and then call me to come up in there and lotion her legs <laughs> and play at her hair till it dry. Because she got a whole lot of hair. She, my mom got a lot of hair, y'all. <laughs> ain't lying. She's 81 years old. She got a lot of hair. Long story short, back in the day when I was a child, she would, you know, get her shower and then say, come in here and lotion my legs first. And then go wash your hands and then come plait my hair. So that's what I did. She never taught me how. Nobody taught me how. I had two other sisters and a brother. Nobody ever taught me how. I could draw. Nobody taught me to draw. I was two years old. And they put down, like, we had extra butcher paper. For those of you that don't know, you live in the country or wherever, and you got butcher paper, and they kill a hog or a chicken or, you know, uh, beef meat. They wrap all your meat up, you know, in what's called butcher paper. And it's this big old white paper, big sheets of it. So when you get the meat back from they, you know, they got the meat ready, then sometimes it's butcher paper left over, and they'll give that to the person that had the you know, the uh, the food, you know, prepared. So my dad would give me the extra butcher paper, and I would lay down there and draw. And they thought my uncle was drawing the pictures because I was drawing our horses and our house. And they was like, oh, Ernest, wow, mm, he getting better. <laughs> Come find out it wasn't my uncle. It was me drawing. I was two years old, y'all. Two years old. I could look at a person's face. And the next thing I know, I done drew their whole face. 
I could look at, like I said, a barn or a house or a chicken or a cow or a horse or a cowboy or a cowgirl. And it would just come out of me. And I still do this to this day. If I'm sitting there doodling, like sometimes I'll be at work and I would just be like drifting off into La La Land because I was getting bored, you know, with work. And I would just, my hand would be moving. Next thing I know, I look down, I done drew something. God gave me that gift. And bringing it back to my daughter with the hair and the art artist work, my daughter did the same thing. That's why I know we got the same seed. My daughter did the same thing. We in the house and she came in and she was like, Mama, look. <laughs> I was like, oh, where you get that from? And she said, me, me. She was like three or four, y'all, me. My child will sit there and drew something. And then I said, who gave you that? And then I talked to her daycare teacher. She said, no, ma'am, that's her artwork she did today at school. I'm like, you're kidding me. A three-year-old now. Same thing like me, very early where you don't even believe it. Then it's, <laughs> y'all are going to think, it's going to blow your mind. Now, back in my day, we had these Barbie dolls that it had like a, where the Barbie thing was like a Barbie head, human-sized head with hair on it that you could style and comb. And then it had these shoulders, and it sat down, okay, like a little tiny mannequin. I'm sitting in the living room. <laughs> I kid you not, this brings me so much joy. Now, mind you, I ain't taught my daughter to cook. I ain't taught her how to draw. I ain't taught her how to do nothing but get her own work. If she comes out of her room, hey, Mom, <laughs> look at this hairstyle. Y'all, she's about five. I I promise you, God, I ain't lying. She brings out her Barbie doll, and she done braided up this doll's head. And then I said, who did that? I'm back to that. Who did that? <laughs> who is the invisible person that drew the pictures? Who is the invisible person that braided this doll hair? And she said, Mama, I did that. She said, you like it? I'm going to go back in here and do a crisscross. <laughs> Y'all. I can't do nothing but get joy. I said, okay, go do the crisscross. Because I'm thinking in my mind, who done braided this uh, mannequin's hair? And she said, she going to go back and do the crisscross. Let's see, he going to do the crisscross. Y'all, about 30 minutes later, my daughter popped up out her room. See, mom, I did good, but I'm going to work on it. I'll be, Lord have mercy. Y'all, my daughter, who I never taught to draw, never taught to braid a plait hair, Came up out of there with that, that doll's hair. And I promise to God to this day if I put her pictures up and some other people's hair that she's done. And she could do it all. Even barbering hair. And you guys know what that means. You know, the cut, the fade. I ain't never taught her that. And I knew it was of the Lord because the Lord gave me the gift of the artistry. You know, of drawing people and drawing things and seeing artwork. And I did hair too, et cetera, et cetera. And he gave it to my daughter, too, even more so. So I know the power of God. And, you know, the enemy don't be liking that. When you start to find joy in anything and come up out of your negative situation, <laughs> the enemy got to try to bring you back down. But you know who has all power, right? You know who has all power. God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. So you ain't got to worry about it. I have held you so long. I had to tell that story, though, about my daughter and, uh, you know, her abilities and what God gave me. And then he uh, gave it to her, too. And then somebody else got it, too. And I ain't going to say a word. I'm just going to see what God going to do. Yeah, I'm going to get up in here. I'm going to finish this bowl of soup. God willing. Got to get me a tomato, y'all. Hold on. Ooh, I'm down to one tomato. What? Here we go. Mm. 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 Y'all, yeah. mm, mm, mm. that's so nice. I'm going to finish this one. Take this one that's left over. Cut me up some more tomatoes. Limo seasoning. Limo lemon juice and stuff. Let that sit. Oh, wee. Wow. Mm. Still have another little bit of soup. Tastes really good, y'all. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's nice. Well, y'all, 
enough for right now. Go home this business. Come back and join me later. If you don't join me later, enjoy me another day. I can't wait to see you here. If you want to hear more of my stories, let me know. Y'all, I got some stuff I need to tell y'all, but I can't. I got to be careful. Because some of my family members might be watching this. Some stuff I want to tell y'all that I did and said. But I don't want them to know I did it. <laughs> be blessed. I love you.